Welcome back to another episode of Royal Adventures Adventures. This episode we are in Shark Bay camping at Shark Bay Caravan Park. Um, you know, off-grid campsite. So we've got the swags. Kind of live in the off-grid setup in a caravan park. So we'll run through and we'll do a little video clip of what we got. This episode we're going to be doing some beach fishing, rock fishing. Um, and just enjoying the uh, shark bay scenery, so. Right, yeah, so we're just uh, cooking dinner on night one. Uh, we've got uh, mince and pasta for night one, and it's just an easy, easy night. Very windy, so we might do a bit of a squid tonight. I don't know if we're able to see the squid, but um, we'll give that a crack anyway. Pat the kid down, have a little bit of a flick. But uh, I'll do a quick rundown on the two camp setups. So, so we got the uh, big three by three Kings Adventures. We got the table. Got the two swags. Two chairs. Ooh, little Mason. Hello, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, we got the, uh, Wondering Wilco is set up. Okay. Hello, Aubrey. Bunny. Zed. Their kitchen set up with their uh, little change tents and their couple of swags. Hello. Dad. You going squidding tonight, girls? Yeah. 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 We're going to the big house today. Okay. Dad. Welcome to day two of the Shark Bay trip. So we didn't show much of uh, last night. It was just a real easy night um, with the family. Basically just having a quiet night. Um, we're all tired with the drive up, so as it's a 11 hour drive from Bunbury. So this morning we're just cooking bacon eggs and then we're going to shoot off down to a uh, fishing spot that I've always done well on. So we're just looking the lines up. We'll. Uh, Eat some breakfast and we'll head down and we'll uh, see you on the beach. See you soon. Uh, half an hour, 45 minutes. 
haven't caught anything. The tide's still a little bit shallow and it is on its way in, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna change spots. Really, really, very, very windy, so I don't know if you can hear that on the uh, GoPro, but um, it'll be a struggle to get the cast out towards that island, but that's where the hole is, so we need it up over that. But uh, we'll keep plugging away, we might change spot and uh, try for a bit more protected area. And uh, I have seen some fish and some sharks jumping out of the water out by that island, but no, uh, no go so far. So we'll keep plugging away, we'll change some uh, tactics, we'll change some lures and bait and flick around. And when that high tide's fully come in, well, then we'll, uh, we'll get cracking. But, uh, one of my favourite spots that I've done really, really well here. I'll put all the other fish that I've done at this spot right now. Uh, but as you can see, the black snapper and some blue bone, blue bone groper. Really, really good fish. A couple of sharks. And uh, yeah, it's a great spot. It's a pretty rough track to get in. So I've really well fished, but uh, great spot. I love it. Just a little bit too windy and the tide's out, but um, we had to fish this time of the day because the wind's meant to pick up this afternoon very, very strong. So it's the calmest part of the day, so I thought we'll get out there and do it now while we can. But it doesn't seem that way. on a little uh, rock cliff that you can see on the side of the hill there and you get this view check that out alright so we just uh, we left the little island place um, the depth of the water was too shallow um, and we needed some more depth in the water so We've uh, found this little spot, haven't been here before, and I actually don't mind this, but um, a lot of depth in the water. And we saw the odd turtles. Uh, we caught about six uh, stripy fish. They're no good eating, so I threw them all back. But uh, what, a, what a little uh, rock face area this is. I'll show you what's on the other side of this camera. Look at that. Depth of the water is nice and deep. So, you can see our little lurky over there somewhere. Nice little rock base. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep back heading in towards Denham along the bush tracks, try and find a few more of these so we can try and target some fish. Wouldn't want catching a few blackies today. It's just very windy, so it's pretty hard to even fish at all. So just a few blackies would be good. Otherwise, it's a good trip out with the family. All right, let's keep going. We'll see you on the tracks. Well, I thought I'd go up this big uh, sand dune. Turns out it's a bit soft, and I think I've bellowed out on this side. I think I've bellowed out. We'll try and get it out. It should be easy.
today we're just going to head out to the uh, shark feeding place, the Shark Bay Aquarium, uh, which is just behind me. So we'll head in there. We'll show you what kind of fish they have around Shark Bay. you'd be pretty stoked to catch one this big. So Shark Bay whiting is actually really sustainable. It's all the fisheries here are indigenous family owned. I think you heard you say boots. Yeah, what was that? Oh, you can do. Look, Mason. Mason. How cool is he? So there's one that lives under the jetty in town. You can sometimes see him. Well, we don't put our fingers there, though. Well, look, now Craig and he's scared. That's tiny, you know? Tiger. inside of the bay here because the water is so salty but if you get out near sea points as you saw Thank you guys. 